Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there's a bad dose going around, so everyone has to stay home and no traveling. This video was meant to be a review of all 1,121 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, but that'll have to wait. And no, the airlines wouldn't refund me, so I've just been wandering about at home, dishing out arbitrary reviews to whatever I see. The Letters of Kingsley Amos. 3 out of 10, handy if you want to prop up a particularly wobbly table. The Rubber Duck I took from the hotel during the Beast from the East. 2 out of 10, rarely contributes and frankly a hotbed of limescale activity. The Sad Sweets from Grave of the Fireflies. 10 out of 10, they're to die for. A copy of That's Life from January 2019. Mum forced me to watch her having sex. Well, that's life. 6 out of 10. Oh, and just so you don't worry, I read the story and in the end she says, I'm happy now. That's life. And of course, Thanks I'll Eat It Here by Lowell George. Uh, 5 out of 10. I was just about to finally read Ulysses in order to review it, but then I realised once we're all out the other end of this, everyone's going to have read Ulysses. But how many people will have read Will McDonald's How To Be A Pub Genius? Oh, I'm sure Ulysses is great and all, but the musings of Leopold Bloom aren't guaranteed to wow babes and win beer, are they? Ideally, I'd have a test audience here to try these tricks on, but that's out of the question. So standing in for meaningful human contact today, please say hello to Godzilla, Mechagodzilla and Al Pacino. Stupid fucking cunt. First up, take a wine glass and place a beer mat on top then balance a cigarette and a penny on it. Bet that you can get the penny in the glass without touching anything, then blow the coaster away from below. The penny drops into the glass, and your fellow patrons will begin mumbling about the possibility of there being a pub genius in the room. Now using the big British banknote that you've won from that trick, bet that you can suspend a third wine glass between two others using just the note. Simply use your pub genius to fold the note several times and shazoom. Take a dishcloth and hold it up like so. Then use telekinesis to make a mandarin float using your mind. Or use a fork and pretend that you're making it float with your mind. Maybe you don't have a dishcloth and mandarin on hand, but maybe you've brought a hammer and nails to the pub? If the staff don't mind you bringing a hammer in, they probably won't mind you hammering a nail into one of their tables. And how about this one? Don't have five bricks handy? Just grab some off the wall, I guess. There isn't even a pub element to this trick, it's just lifting five bricks. I don't know why the book expects you to roll up to the pub with half a construction site in your pockets, but I suppose that's what Animal Crossing does to people. Here's one that requires a fish tank full of water. Once you have your tank, just go up to the bar and keep asking for water as if you're on some kind of illegal drug. Take bets on which will sink and which will float, classic or diet coke. Younger viewers won't remember, but coke cans weren't always tall like this, they used to be stubbier. Ask your grandparents about the old cans of coke. Now the bets are placed, so let's see how this goes. Well, the diet was meant to float and the... Lots of things in life are meant to happen though, so... You know, this is just another one of those. Never mind. If you're a fan of things going wrong, then I recommend this trick where you stand on a table and use a broom to knock a tray out from under some matchboxes so four eggs drop into four pints of beer. I mean, even in a best case scenario, that's four fucked pints and a tray being launched across a room. Best stick to the simple tricks like this one. Balance a 20p either side of a wine glass and bet that you can pick them both up at the same time using only your forefinger and thumb. Then simply... 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 Simply slide them down either side and... Big Alakazam. Now that you've definitely won that bet, double your winnings by betting that you can drink from an unopened brandy bottle. Then pour a drink into the punt of the bottle and take a sup of victory. 
Make sure to only do this trick with friends who will see the funny side, like Mecha Godzilla, because people like King Ghidorah, they'll probably take the bottle and put it right through you. Here's another brandy trick where you use it to soak a fiver before setting it alight. The brandy burns off, leaving the note intact, but presumably not your fingertips. I will not be performing this trick as we're currently trying to keep the pressure off the health services and I don't want to be the arsehole who ended up in burn ward during a pandemic because they were making YouTube content. I'll just stick to non-lethal tricks like this one where I blow out a match through a pint. As unimpressive as it is safe, very. By the way, if you're wondering why the pint looks like fizzy piss, that's because it's Stella Artois, which I notice has stopped advertising itself as reassuringly expensive. Another relatively low risk maneuver is wait for a friend to go to the toilet, then use a beer mat to slide a match under their pint. When they return to see their drink defying gravity, they'll think they've gone balubas. Now your pals are doubting how reality works, so it's time to make another bet. Pop a jumper over your drink and say, I wager I can still drink that without touching the jumper. Then get under the table and pretend to drink the beer. Mmm, yum yum, are, are, are those hops? Oh, I love it. Then return and announce your success. Your non-pub genius chomp of a friend then lifts the jumper, allowing you to dive in. Hey. Didn't touch the jumper. Question. How do I free Al Pacino from this glass prison without letting this match fall when I can't touch it? Simply light the match and blow it out again after a moment. It will then be fused with the other glass and voila! Al Pacino is free to terrorize the city once more. You stupid fucking cunt, you idiot. Breast left unsaid. You either need to be very brave to do this bet or have a female friend with a great sense of humor. And Lord knows those can be hard enough to find. <laughs> uh, he's right, folks. Women just hate to laugh. Have you ever heard a woman laughing? The idea here is you bet that you can make a woman's boobs jiggle without using your hands, then using your hands to make her boobs jiggle. You've lost the bet, but you've won at touching boobs, haven't you? I'd try this myself, but I respect Godzilla far too much to play with his tits. Finally, a trick of biblical proportions. We're going to turn water into wine. Take your favorite bottle of red and fill a glass, and fill another equally sized glass with water. Place some thin card on the water glass and turn it over, which I won't deny was a terrifying endeavor. You stupid fucking cunt. Place the water glass over the other and gently slide the card out until a small gap allows the wine to seep upwards. And slowly, very slowly, the wine will transfer into the upper glass. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get both glasses back upright without making a mess, but I mean, I'm not a pub super genius. At this point, it's probably best to just leave and hope that the bar staff are impressed. And there you go. You now know how to be a pub genius. Better start practicing these tricks now because I've got a feeling that this lockdown is going to be over very soon.